Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Kumal Kavir Shekhawat and I hope you all are doing great. In this video, I shall explain how you can use forecasting in order to deal with the missing values in your data set. So before proceeding, I would kindly request you to do subscribe my channel if you haven't yet subscribed and also do join my telegram group for queries and discussions. The link for the telegram group is attached in the description box. Okay. Suppose I have a variable GDP and the time span is from 2001 to 2018. But the data for 2018 is not available for this particular variable GDP. And hence it is showing NA. It stands for not available, right? But I want to obtain this missing value in order to do the further estimation. So how you can use forecasting option to obtain this missing value? Let's have a look. So for that, as you can see, the sample range is from 2001 to 2018, but the data is available only from 2001 to 2017. So double click on this option, the e-views is taking the entire year, but you have to mention over here only the years for which the data is available and that is from 2000 to 2017, right? So once you have entered the sample range for which the data is available, click OK. All right. Now you can see over here instead of the sample range from 2001 to 2018, the sample range is now from 2001 to 2017 and data for 17 observations are available and I want to estimate the data for the 18th observation which is not available. Okay, so for that go to quick and then estimate equation. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to estimate the equation for GDP. So first write your variable which is GDP in my case and then write C for the constant and AR within brackets 1. So which is basically for auto regressive scheme 1. Okay. So GDP the variable then put constant and then write AR1. So once you have written this you need to click OK. Now you can see the results over here. Now you have to look at the value for the probability of AR1. So this probability value here is 0, 0.00. Now you need to compare this value with the significance level. So suppose the significance level is 5% and if this probability value is less than 5% level of significance, then you can use the forecasting option in order to estimate the missing value. Okay. So you can proceed with the forecasting and if this value is not less than the significance value, then you can't proceed with forecast. Okay. So since this value for GDP and the AR1 probability value is less than 5% level of significance and it is in fact less than 1% level of significance for that matter, the next step is to click on forecast. So this dialog box will open and here you can see e uses automatically keeping the name of the new series which will be GDPF for forecast. Okay, so the new series with the missing value would be GDPF, right? And the forecast sample here is not 2001 to 2017. We are forecasting from 2001 to 2000. 18. So you need to rewrite the forecast sample and you can keep the rest of the things default and then click on OK. So as you can see over here, a new variable series has been generated in your work file which is GDPF. So if you double click this variable, you can see over here the value for the year 2018 has been generated. So this is how you can use the forecast option in order to deal with the missing values in your data set. Another important thing is that you can use this forecast option only if you have at most two 
values missing in your data set okay so if you have values missing more than two then you can't use this method to generate the missing value another important thing is that you can use this option only if you have missing values at the initial years or at the end okay so the value missing in my data set was at the end so for the year 2018 the data was not available so hence i was able to use this procedure or another case is that if you have missing values in the initial year or at the starting like for example if i have missing values for the year 2001 or 2002 in that case also i can use this option of forecast okay but if you have missing values in between the data set or in between the series in that case you can use the interpolation method i have already uploaded a video on how to generate the missing values using interpolation so you can watch that video also now suppose you have missing values in the initial year in that case how you can use this forecast option in order to treat the missing value so let's have a look so this is the excel file of the data set and you can have a look here the data for the initial year 2001 is missing or it is not available and for the estimation procedure i need this value in order to execute the methodology right so in such cases where you are having a data set and the value for initial year is missing so what you can do is you can select the entire range okay afterwards right click and there is an option for sort so you can sort the data from largest to smallest value right so basically the data has been reversed and now it is showing the data from 2018 to 2001. So it is basically backward data. And now you still have the missing value for the year 2001. But if you import this file in eView, the data for the last year is not available basically. So basically what you are going to do, you, are, you can use the forecast option in the same manner eViews will estimate the value for this last year, which is now for the year 2001. So the purpose has been handled. So the task was to obtain the value for the year 2001 for the variable GDP and it can be obtained using the same procedure. Right? So in this way, you can move backward and estimate the missing value for a particular series or a particular variable. Okay. So now you have a missing value at the end of the series. Although the year is 2001, but the task is to estimate this missing value using the forecast option. Okay. And you need to follow the same procedure and eViews will estimate this missing value for this particular series. Okay. So it doesn't matter whether you have a missing value at the end of the series or at the start. You can always use this option in order to generate this missing value for a particular period right but if you have missing values more than two in that case you can't use this method and then you can obviously switch to extrapolation or interpolation for that matter and for the missing values in between the series you can always go for interpolation so thanks for watching have a great day and don't forget to subscribe my channel and do join my telegram group for any further queries and if you want to have the access to the data sets then also do join my telegram channel thanks for watching again have a great day